breast cancer survivor. I discovered a lump on my left breast in 2001. I had actually seen my gynecologist and she was a little bit concerned that she couldn't figure it out so she sent me to a group of doctors where they did a lot of uh, mammograms different different sides of, of my breast and I got treated with chemo for the longest time and the lump was still there it didn't it just never changed so I ended up going to another group of doctors and um, they had injected this I call it a gun in and they took some specimen out and they still couldn't figure out what it was well I was just frustrated I just um, I had to go to Harbor UCLA where I was on intensive chemo I had worked part-time and uh, I would go to work half a day and the rest of the afternoon on a weekend I would be there for two days and hooked up on chemo and the lump never decreased it was just very uncomfortable I was sickly with the chemo and I just uh, I had to pursue another way of finding out what was wrong with me fortunately I had a very nice doctor from Hawaii and she referred me to City of Hope. At City of Hope they got out the lump, they did a, a specimen test and uh, it was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and it was growing on my left breast so I had surgery there. Um, I had to go back eventually for uh, intensive chemo and then needing stem cell transplant I didn't have any family anybody that could uh, really help me out so I uh, ended up having to drive myself every day for half a day sit on a uh, dialysis so they could retrieve my stem cells and I did that for about three weeks until there was enough stem cells um, for me to uh, go back in the hospital, more chemo, and uh, I lived in a hospital for a whole month just about. But I was, I was strong enough to push myself to do this because I had children that they were teenagers at the time and yet um you know they were very concerned they were they were always upset as to what is it i have and why is it taking so long for it to be diagnosed anyway um i did have my intensive chemo and then in the first year january of 2002 i had my stem cells back in that was the most <sighs> frightful thing because I never realized your stem cells were frozen and that I couldn't be warm, I couldn't be covered. We had to, uh, they had to give me back my stem cells in seven bags and they looked like slush. It was just, but all in all, it came out that it, it was successful and I. I was very, very grateful to City of Hope. I was on clinical study for three years, and uh, of course I had um, more radiation off and on, but um, I, that was my successful story. I'm here and happy, and so far uh, I, I'm still in remission.